It's been a cold couple of days, which may have been a factor in causing a school district to cancel classes today. I'm Charlie Lapastor in Osceola County. I'll show you why they couldn't start up some of these buses this morning. This is an anomaly. It's a combination of the cold weather and an electrical failure is our guess. The buses have to plug in to keep the engines warm so the fuel stays fluid enough that when you turn the key the bus will start. Diesel fuel kind of jellies if it's too cold. Marion Public Schools in Osceola County uses six buses to shuttle kids to and from school, but this morning they were only able to get four buses started up. So Superintendent Mort Meyer chose to cancel classes. Our mechanic had to work on the buses up until about 1 this afternoon, uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon, getting them all running. So we, we wouldn't have been able to, to get enough buses on the road even if we had delayed. So just decided to call school off for the safety of the kids. The diesel buses need to be charged every day, but according to Marion's transportation supervisor, some of the outlets were blown and these block heaters weren't working at all. But it came as a surprise because he had come in over break and even this past weekend and says the buses were able to start up then. When they're you know, left for a period of time, which we were off for two weeks over break, of course, um, I came in, they were started and test drove two different times. Um, block heaters are always checked and maintained. Uh, battery life, we check those two as well. Just a perfect storm. We're not sure if we had a power surge. Something happened between Saturday and the, today that it really indicates that we had some kind of, a, I'm going to guess, some sort of an electrical issue that complic compounded with the cold, you know, you get buses that won't run. Even with the cold winter last year, Meyer says they survived and didn't have any problem with their buses. In Osceola County, Charlie Lapastora for Up North Live News on ABC 29 and 8.